Alright guys, it's time to start learning about files and of course we already know why files are useful because right now with the knowledge that we have in our brains what we can do is we can create a cool program to I don't know like convert um, like dollars to euros or something and we can run it and output it to the user however whenever the user closes their programs that data is deleted forever so it would be nice if we had a way to store the data that our program created even not only when they close a program but even when they shut off their computer they could come back to it so that's why files are useful because we can store data that either our program creates or just needs to access so the first thing I want to do before I start talking to you guys about how to create files how to read them how to um, add crap to them is basically this there are two different types of files that we're going to be working with or working with files in two different types of ways should I say the first one is called sequential access files and this is pretty much data that we need to create in order one two three four five six seven the other type of file actually I'll write this down sequential means in order and we're also going to be working with random access files and this pretty much means that we can store data all over the place it doesn't need to be um, in any specific order doesn't make a lot of sense right now but it will in like two tutorials exactly what these types of files are so the first thing I want to do is just show you guys the easy one a sequential access file so let's go ahead and create a basic file in C so the first thing that we always need is a file pointer and it's pretty much a way to keep track of where we are in our file. Pretty much saying, do you want to, um, you know, um, start writing text at the beginning, the end, the middle? Well, we need a file pointer to keep track of pretty much where we are, like I said, in our file. So in order to create that, write the name file, all in caps, pointer, because it's file pointer, and just name anything you want, F pointer. So pretty much, you always need these two parts, and then you can name your file pointer anything you want a lot of people name them FP but you know I'll name it F pointer so you guys can easily see what's going on so now we need to open a file to point to or pretty much use a file now there are a bunch of different things that we can do with files we can write text or create a file and I'll talk to you guys about the different modes real quick now whenever we're creating a file or writing it for the first time we use the keyword or the letter W whenever we have a file that already exists on our computer and we just want to read information from it we use R so W for write R for read and whenever we have a file that's created and we want to add to the end of the file so pretty much add more crap to the file we use A A means append or add more crap so obviously we didn't have any files that we created yet we can just read I don't know find a file on my computer but let's go ahead and create one first and not you freaking internet habit so how do we create a file well the first thing we need is our file pointer pretty much anything we're going to be doing the files we're going to use this file pointer and set it equal to this f open and this open um allows us to open a file and do something with it so what we need to do is open a file in um, pretty much write to it in other words add text to it create it so the first parameter this takes is what is the name of the file that you want to open aka create now I'm just gonna name mine bacon and make this a basic text file now the reason that I had this window open was to show you guys <laughs> this is where my program is on my computer and if you just write bacon.txt we're gonna be creating a text file in the same directory so as you guys can see there's no bacon text file right now we're gonna create it so open bacon.txt and since it doesn't exist yet we need to write it in other words W so what this basically does is it now opens your file bacon.txt and it, if it doesn't exist it's fine it's gonna create it for you and it's gonna say okay I am now ready to write crap in here in other words add text to the file so in order to write stuff in a file you need a different type of a print statement it's actually f printf and this is going to look very familiar whenever you would um, just print stuff on your screen with printf the function f printf prints it to a file probably the easiest thing we ever learned in our life now this actually takes a couple parameters and by a couple I mean two it's really easy the first one is your file pointer 
and right now this is just at the beginning of your file so let me open up notepad so again what your computer is seeing right now is pretty much this a blank cursor at the beginning of a file that it's going to be bacon.txt so the next parameter it takes just like print is basically what do you want to print or what do you want to write to your text file and of course the only thing we can write I love cheese and then we can put it on a new line just like before and end that I'll give you a little space so you can see what's going on so basically if we just run both of these lines then it's gonna open a file and since it isn't created yet it's gonna create it for you we don't need to do it on two separate lines pretty freaking cool and once it's open it's just gonna write something in it now this is actually gonna work perfectly but the one other thing I want to talk to you guys about is just housekeeping stuff and that is F close whenever we're done with a file pointer we're gonna close it and this just uh, frees up any memory it says we're done with this give that memory back to the computer you can have your resources it's just good programming practice so let's run this and check it out one more time we don't have any bacon.txt file right now so I'm gonna run this okay nothing displayed but check it out if I reopen this oh I now have a bacon text file right there and it has well, let's just say 15 bytes in it so if I open this with notepad it says I love cheese boom check it out what we just did is we created an entire file with C how awesome is that now I want to point something else out first of all as you can see whenever that little console open we closed it out our file still exists so this is a way that we can save data even when we close our program another thing is this little bit of information say we run this program again and we write bacon is good well with this W mode this write, what happens is it says okay this is pretty much creating a new file so if you run this program again since we already have a bacon.txt file I'm gonna say okay delete that old one and create a new one with this so it runs it again but now check it out it says okay your file has been modified do you want to reload it yes and now it says bacon is good so remember with W whenever you run your program more than once it overwrites the old file since it pretty much is always creating it from new and if uh, you guys want to know how to add stuff on to the end of your file like you might have expected I'm gonna be showing you guys that in the next couple of tutorials but for right now this is how you open aka create a file this is how you add text to it and this is just programming practice how to close it free up some memory and now we're good to go so in the next couple of tutorials what I want to do is show you guys now that we have a file created how to read from it how to add on crap to the end of it and also how to work with those things called random access files it's gonna be freaking sweet I'll see you then